Hello and welcome to Real Talk. I'm Gleito Martins, alongside with... Uh, welcome to Real Talk, I'm Marco Cerritos. This is our first episode of Real Talk, so a show where we're going to be talking. No script so far. We're going to be talking about movies, film festivals, TV shows, Blu-ray and DVDs. Do you remember those? <laughs> you have good ideas. Absolutely. We're going to be talking about a lot of movies off the cuff and Blu-ray and DVDs are going to be part of that conversation. And also, you, Marco, um, he has been covering tons of movies and film festivals throughout the country. He's a movie reviewer, professionally speaking, <laughs> if I may so, say so. Oh, I am just a movie lover. So there you have it. So um, what did you get for us? Like, I know you, you, you're you going to be talking about... Well, we're going to kick things off with a theatrical review. Uh, our first theatrical review of our first show of Real Talk is uh, The Lost City. The Lost City stars Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum uh, as a mismatched pair on a jungle adventure. The film starts out as a romancing the stone type of, uh, not ripoff, but more of an homage to the action comedy genre. Uh, Sandra Bullock plays a romance novelist. Yes, let's please rail the trailer for The Lost City. This is like your book. We're on a Love More and Dash adventure right now. I'm gonna help you out a little bit. Let's go. What are you doing? Don't do yeah, that. Go. Oh Come God, on. get out of there. This is not a romance novel. Jungles eat people like us. Ah, what is that? Get it off. Please. Please. I can feel him sucking my soul. Rip it like a bandit. Yeah. 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 on me. That sounds yeah. Yeah. Feels like there's more. Holy mother of God. Ah. Uh, it's just sucking on my butt like a big old Jamba juice. Oh. We're so close. Well, we this is a good Sandra Bullock vehicle. She's been away for a couple of years, but this... The action comedy genre is something that not only she has excelled in in this film, but Channing Tatum, who's her co-star, has plenty of experience in as well. He's done the action comedy thing with the 21 and 22 Jump Street films. Mm -hmm. uh, he plays that sort of aloof character <laughs> to perfection in those movies, and this one too. Uh -huh. So their chemistry together is very well captured on film. Uh, the film, as I said earlier, is just a, a very zany and comic look and a mismatched pair trying to struggle out of a very crazy jungle adventure. So from that trailer, you can get an idea of the, uh, the zaniness and the craziness of The Lost City. Uh, and it opens this Friday, March 25th. Uh, it is very well recommended, or highly recommended, excuse me, for those looking for a great and fun night out at the movies. Speaking of going to the theaters, do you feel safe? Because I know you go to the theaters I all do. the time. I do. I'm feeling safer about going to the movies yeah. these days, but I, oh, I, I'm still rocking my mask. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so. yeah. Well, um, there's a new movie coming up with Jared Leto, which yes. he, everybody knows. Of course. Morbius, which is another uh, Marvel movie, mm -hmm. right? So I'm very excited about this movie, especially because I'm a huge fan of Marvel. And, uh, um, well, let's watch the trailer. Michael, what have you done? I was trying to help people. But uh, this movie opens in theater next week. So um, before we're going to be talking about this movie after I watch, because Marco, he gets to watch the movies before <laughs> we get to watch the movies. So I have, I'm going to be watching this movie later. But so if you, once you watch this movie, Morbius, uh, please let us know what are your thoughts, what do you think about the movie. Our email is realtalk at newsupnow.org. It's right here. And shoot us a, a, a DM on Facebook, Instagram. It's at newsupnow, okay? So, um, Talking, let's talk about Oscars, because yeah. this weekend is the Oscars. Absolutely, so the Oscars the are coming Oscars. up. Yep, you got little Oscar statues behind we you. do. Not the, the real thing, but... Someday, we're going to get the <laughs> real ones. So, what are your predictions, though? I've got, you know, a few of the major categories. Some of them seem locked in, you know, best picture, best actress, best actor seem like solid locks. Uh, but there's some categories that are still up for grabs. And with uh, my streaming recommendations, I like to highlight some of those. Uh, first up, I'm looking at The Power of the Dog on Netflix. Uh, that is one of the best <laughs> excuse me, the best picture candidates at this year's Academy Awards. Peter! 
I would urge anyone looking for not just a good movie, but one of the best films of last year to give The Power of a Dog a chance, The Power of the Dog a chance. Um, it is still a chance that they could still upset the yeah, best yeah, picture category. Yeah, yeah. But we'll see. Another it's a, sorry to cut you off. No, go it's ahead. It's a strong movie. It is. And it, some people they don't get the title. Oh well, you know, even I didn't get the title at first. <laughs> so I had to do a little digging, and you know, I I've seen the film since a second time, and okay. the pieces come into place a lot stronger on that second viewing mm -hmm, for me. Mm -hmm. But uh, as far as streaming picks and Oscar candidates go, in the best animated category, one of my top picks is again from Netflix, uh, The Mitchells versus the Machines which does, again, was the top contender for a while. It has since fallen to, I believe, Encanto is now the, uh, the top slot for best animated film. Doesn't mean Encanto's a bad movie, but The Mitchells vs. The Machines would absolutely get my vote in that category. Um, for those, especially with families, this is a very cheeky and silly film from the makers of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs and the 21 and 22 Jump Street films. Uh, it is also playing on Netflix. It is a very crazy and zany family adventure about a robot apocalypse. So the Mitchells versus the Machines would get my vote for the best animated feature. Mm -hmm. uh, are there any categories well, you'd like to talk about? Well, you know, we were talking before we started uh, taping the show uh, about Spencer. Yes. Which yeah. uh, Christine Stewart war was in San Francisco That's last right. week. Yes. We, we, you, you went to, 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 to talk to her. Yeah. Um, so the movie, it didn't talk to me very... It wasn't my favorite movie, but I thought she was incredible in that movie. And I agree with that. I think the film as a whole is fine. It's, it's, it's incredibly strong in parts, but as a whole, it, it's just a very passable and, and interesting portrait of Princess Diana. But you're absolutely right. Yeah. She is great in it. She's the reason that that film excels as much as it does. Yeah. And her coming to San Francisco last week for a very last minute Oscar push uh, it was great, you know, it was great to sit in that audience and hear her speak and yeah, see the movie, yeah. you know, with her and her, uh, and her team. <laughs> it's amazing how much she transformed herself in every single character. Like her, for yep. example, was another a brilliant movie of her, yep. um, you know. And she's nominated, as you said, so I gotta, gotta move on. Um, so I have another um, suggestion. Uh, if you're looking for a, a TV show to watch on stream services, Netflix, Prime, or whatever, so uh, Reacher which is um, played before as Tom Cruise, yeah. right? So now they have a new character, which, did you see that? I didn't see the Reacher show, but I have yeah. seen the Jack Reacher movies with Tom Cruise. And it's interesting to see that the biggest complaint with the Tom Cruise movies was that he just didn't look what, like what Reacher was supposed to look like mm -hmm. in those books. Mm -hmm. But the Reacher show has kind of perfected that, <laughs> um, I guess to an interesting degree based on the, the show itself. But... Uh, the Tom Cruise movies, first one especially, very well made, second one not so much. The, the TV show, from what I understand, is, is actually very good, mm -hmm. but you're, you're seconding yeah. that. Well, um, let's put the picture of Tom Cruise <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Richson. Oh, wow, yes, Closer. there you go. Because I think people will see, uh, we got to go soon, but uh, people will see uh, Richson looks more closely in the looks with the character in the book. Right. That's what you said. Yeah. So um, I like the show. I really like I like I like all those um, um, booky uh, book shows, uh, Jack Ryan, Reacher, uh, both of them being played by Tom Cruise yep. in the past, and have new TV shows with different characters, actors, if I may so. But I thought it was it has some action, but I was expecting a little bit more. But mm -hmm. it was a good show. Okay. So that's my uh, 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 suggestion for you if you're looking for something to see. It's on Prime. Um, and also, uh, we cannot forget, before we go, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be talking about DVDs, Blu-rays. Blu Do you remember those? <laughs> I do, because I grew up with them. So you have some suggestions as well for uh, our viewers. Yeah, you know, DVDs, maybe less so, but Blu-rays and 4K discs are yeah. still relevant. You know, So if you're watching this and you still collect Blu-rays and 4K discs, and even DVDs like I do, this segment is exactly what you're looking for. Uh, this week's pick is a brand new 4K restoration of the Godfather trilogy, uh, Francis Ford Coppola's seminal trilogy that has been restored over the years, but the 2022 version has not only been updated with the 4K disc, but the Blu-ray versions of them have been updated too. Uh, those who've owned the trilogy, and I guess the last version that came out was 2008, those look good, but these 2022 updates look phenomenal. 
If you don't own a 4K player, you can still get the Blu-rays and those look amazing as well. So my 4K DVD slash Blu-ray pick this week, <laughs> my home video pick this week, I know. is the Godfather trilogy. I'm assuming you have seen those. Oh, films. yes. I, I, I mean, Godfather, what an ex exceptional movie. I mean, yeah. there's no question about that. Part two it's is... It's one of the really best good. movies ever, in yes. my opinion. Uh, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. And also, I still have DVDs and Blu-rays. <laughs> so do I. I do. Yeah, I do. I mean, the stream services are amazing. You know, it's so much easier. I mean, there are tons of uh, Apple TV, Prime, Netflix, right. Hulu, and so forth. Oh, yeah. And you, you get to see a lot of movies as well for free on YouTube yes. sometimes. Right. right? Yeah. Yes, so sometimes before yeah. we go, um, Garrett is saying we got to go soon. <laughs> um, don't forget, because there, come, uh, there are some film festivals coming up soon. Yes. Like you, we have the San Francisco uh, Film Festival coming yes. up. Right? And yeah. also CineQuest, which is this portion of CineQuest in San Jose, it's virtual? Yes, that's right. Uh, the virtual portion of CineQuest is in early April. Uh, it's going to be virtual only with the promise of an in-person festival later in the summer. Yeah. I think the projection date is, I think they're looking at like August for now. Yes. But, but as far as in-person festivals, in addition to CineQuest in the summer, earlier than that, we're looking at San Francisco International, which kicks off on April 21st. So we're going to wrap right now yep uh so that was fun huh yeah absolutely that was, was a, fun a wow. great inaugural show you know a great inaugural yeah, episode of real yeah, talk yeah, so yeah absolutely well so that's a wrap for us thank you so much for watching if you have any questions suggestions please send us an email to real talk at newsupnow.org <laughs> or follow us on instagram facebook twitter absolutely. and all of those and also youtube bye-bye guys all right bye-bye